Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be taking a look at my lightsaber collection, throwing it back what feels like really old school where I'm just picking up the camera and showing a part of my collection. Um, also, am I aesthetic yet? I set this up for the, <laughs> for the uh, thumbnail, which I don't even know if I like yet because I've not done it at the time of recording this. And I just made it all fancy. Um, just kidding. We're going to be taking a look at my lightsabers today, all my ones that are like uh, replica size, so like play size. So unfortunately that does not include my little scaled mini lightsabers that I love so much. Some of my favorite lightsabers. Anyway, let's scoot on back here. And I just wanted to take you guys on a journey with me with my lightsabers because some of these are so special and I got a new lightsaber today, so I just felt like making a video. Like I said, throwing it back really old school, like beginning of my channel where I just was like gonna whip everything up and talk on the top of my head, which I always do technically, but usually I'm in front of the camera these days. So anyways, let's take a closer look. All right, we're gonna go in some kind of order today. Um, we're gonna start with the play, the play ones, the plastic ones, and just kind of go on to the nicer ones. And I'm just gonna tell you about my life with them. Um, some of these obviously hold a lot more value in my heart than other ones. Some of them hold a much bigger monetary value than other ones. So this is one that holds a large value in my heart. This is Qui-Gon Jinn's lightsaber but it's also red. Um, this was my very first Star Wars toy, contrary to the action figures. My first one was Chewbacca, but my first Star Wars toy I ever got after seeing Star Wars Episode Three in theaters was this lightsaber. And then I literally think I got Chewbacca the same day at a Toys R Us, but I got this from Walmart. And we played with these. My sister still has hers and it's Qui-Gon Jinn's too, but with a green lightsaber. And these are these telescopic ones. Um, and you can tell we really played with them. Like we were like trying to beat each other to death with these. Um, we got in trouble, I think several times with it. Ooh, I just sold something. Um, you can tell the end of that still has some dirt from my, from my childhood home. No, this one is just so special and it just holds a big place in my heart because I just used to play with this and I believed I was a Jedi, except I had a red lightsaber. I remember like regretting picking out a red lightsaber. Like, why didn't I choose a Jedi color? Because I wanted to be a Jedi. It always bothered me. At the time, I didn't know that this was Qui-Gon Jinn's lightsaber hilt, so it didn't bother me. But now it does. Like, why? Why would you do this, Hasbro? I assume that's who made these. Um, yeah, so... And they have been using the same lightsaber hilt since 1999. You can see more scratches. I got this in 2005. So that just shows how long Hasbro reused these lightsabers. Unfortunately, this little telescopic one doesn't it doesn't click anymore. I, I literally used it so much, it just broke the clicker. So anyways, that's a long story on that one. They won't all be this long, but that's my childhood lightsaber. My very, very first Star Wars toy I ever, ever got. It's so special. It will always stay with me. <laughs> Next one I got is this one. It's Mace Windu's lightsaber from Attack of the... Cl not Attack of the Clones. Phantom Menace before we actually knew it was purple, but then they retroactively went back and made it purple. This is one of those ones that, like, makes lights and sounds, but it's, like, 2004 when this was made, so it's, like, really, really dull. And, um, as you can tell, I also played with this one, even though it had lights and sounds. And I really liked Mace Windu. I still like Mace Windu, and I still like his lightsaber. Not this one. I hate this one, actually. Like, it's so ugly to me. But his his episode 2 and 3 one is, is beautiful. Um, so it telescopes as well. And let's see. Oh, my gosh. I still have batteries in it. Can't you see how bright it is? There's the light. It literally is like a flashlight light lighting this up. But, like, it used to... When you bang it, it used to make hitting sounds, and it doesn't anymore. Maybe because I broke it. I don't know. But as you can tell, it's really used as well. Um, yeah, it's a good one. A good childhood memory. And I don't know if y'all ever played with these, but, like, I used to jam my hands when I was trying to, like, put the, the lightsaber back in. Ooh, look at that. Um, this one always bothered me because it only, like, it stopped right there. I wish that it had gone all the way in. It really bugged me but obviously it couldn't because it's mechanical inside and I will stop to say 
I don't have a lightsaber that I used to have. It was one of my very favorites. I got it for Christmas in 2005. It was the original Star Wars Ultimate Lightsaber, Build Your Own Lightsaber Pack. So cool. I thought it was amazing. I, like, yearned for it all Christmas long, and I got it from my grandma. It was the original. They've redone the packaging. Um, like, the next year, they did, like, an Anakin Darth Vader, and then the couple years later, they did the Clone Wars. But, like, I mean the original OG. This is a great, like, a little grail of mine that I want to buy back, like, sealed. Um, oh, my gosh. It's so cool. I just, I remember the packaging so much. I remember staring at it and just the thought of you being able to have any, um, any lightsaber combination that you wanted was just crazy. And I remember being so disappointed when I opened it up at Christmas because it absolutely sucked. It was a clear blade, but the lights on it were just so dull. Like you just, I wanted purple and you had to like mix the, the blue and the red and it just didn't work. And it just, I remember being so disappointed. It was the same year I got my Force FX Mace Windu lightsaber. So, I mean, obviously there was a huge area for disappointment, but that's what brings me to this one here. Um, I actually got this as like a promo item from Hasbro back when they liked me. They don't give me anything these days, but then again, I don't really review their things. So anyways, it's a fine, fine trade. This one was Blade Builders. Um, now we're on to, I think, Lightsaber Forge. So they've changed up the name, but Blade Builders, this is the Force Master Lightsaber. Also pause. I am so old school with this video. You can see my PJ pants in the corner of this video. That is how I used to film when I was a kid. You would like see my PJs in the shot. That's so funny. Not doing that on purpose, but it's late at night. It's like 10 o'clock. So anyway, um, you can do four blade colors with 24 plus phrases and sounds. And I thought this was really cool. Um, I never took it out of the package because it was packaged so cool, but I'll turn it on. It's on like a demo mode, and I wish as a kid the lightsabers were this bright. They just aren't anymore. Oh yeah, I would have died. I'd love that. Ugh, it's, it's so cool. I'm going to be so sad when the batteries on this die. Um, I'd have to open it up to replace them, but maybe I should save it for my son. I don't know. I kind of don't want this to turn into like these, but I mean, it is what it is. It's part of your childhood. Anyways, so this was really cool. And this was like what I wanted the ultimate lightsaber, um, build your own lightsaber kit to do. And it just, it just didn't. it. The other, only cool thing was that you could like make the hilt all different and stuff. And they've obviously done that in a 10 million iterations at this point. Um, and this video will move faster than it's going. I just had to show you like my childhood lightsabers first. And then this one is of the same time period, just about as this one. I can see it repackaged. I remember the packaging looking like this, but this is that 30th anniversary packaging. Um, and I, I know that wasn't actually the same, but it was packaged similar to this. And this was Force Action Lightsaber. This one is spring activated, so it is newer. And here are all the potential Jedi that you could use this lightsaber that looks like Anakin Skywalker's with... So really cool that I found this in package. I found this at a vintage stock um, and I paid, oh, I paid $10 for it. And I feel like that's really fair. I just love the retro look of this packaging. 2006. Oh, just kidding. Okay. I'm confused. There you are. You can see the other ones in the line. I'm pretty sure that this Mace Windu one though was a lot earlier because 2002, but I did find it at the store. They were still selling it. So obviously this one probably doesn't say 2002 in it. Uh, this one probably isn't actually. The packaging is probably just 2006. Anyways, so I just, I love the way this is displayed and I like how also the packaging is slightly green to like let you know that this is the green lightsaber. And all these guys use green lightsabers except for Plo Koon that actually uses a blue lightsaber, but that's super wrong. Um, anyways, and then the feature are fun too. Spring activated blade extends over three feet long. Power activation, humming sound, glowing arc wave, energy blade. So cool. Oh my gosh. Such a fun time. Um, moving on, this is the one that I actually just got and I think it's beautiful. I don't know. There's something about it. Like, I don't know why I, why I bought this because I'm not going to play with it, but I just really like the Anakin Skywalker art. And I really like the colors of the lightsaber. Like, this is not Anakin's lightsaber. And not even on the picture is it Anakin's lightsaber. Like, what? <laughs> Anakin Skywalker. And then the lightsaber is this. And then the lightsaber is this. Like, it <laughs> makes no sense. It's so funny. But I really like the way it looks, actually. I think it's actually really cool. And I would have died if I was a little kid and they made these. Like, why couldn't we have had this? Instead, we had these. Um, that's okay. But... I also think I'm a little bit of like a closeted Anakin Skywalker simp because I tend to really like stuff with his packaging. Anyways, you can do lots of different 
lightsaber stuff with this new lightsaber forge um, from Hasbro. So I got that one. And then um, this absolute masterpiece here, this Chewbacca lightsaber. I think this one's like lightsaber friends, lightsaber squad. So this one's for littler kids. Chewbacca. I had to get this one, obviously. It's also yellow, which is a really unique color. I've never seen a lightsaber for kids in yellow. So that's really cool. And I mean, it's super corny that it's a character, but like, I honestly really like it. It's really cute. They have some other really cool ones like Ahsoka and does it show? No, it doesn't. They have like Ahsoka and Darth Vader and stuff like that. But obviously I got Chewbacca because I'm a big Chewbacca nerd. So um, I love that one. It's so funny. And then I have this one and I don't know why I took it out of the packaging, but it had this like lightsaber crystal necklace, which was cool. And you can put the crystal inside here. Really cool for play pretend for kids, but it's like a kind of like a high Republic looking one. I think this is part of like the lightsaber forge line, but it's several years um, younger or I guess older rather than this, this new one here. And let's see, what does it say? It's just 2020. You can't read it, but yeah, it's got this like little necklace that came with it. That's pretty neat. I wish I hadn't taken it out of the packaging because now I can't, I don't have any reference for what it was. I was just, I was weird then. This is another one of the like build your own lightsaber. I think before they called it lightsaber forge, they called it something else. I swear they did. Um, and this one this one also connected together so you can make your own crazy lightsaber. I think it still works. And it lights up better than the Anakin or than the Mitty Swindu one, but I actually got this from a now ex boyfriend. Um, and I never got rid of it because it's Luke Skywalker's lightsaber and I didn't have one. So um, this one's a cool one. Again, it's, it's a very. Uh, it's a very close iteration to this old Mace Windu one, but like literally. 10 years uh, younger. So I have that one as well. And then of course I have the dark saber when the dark saber came out at in stores when we first saw it at the end of Mandalorian season one. And it's really cool. So that's everything for my little plastic lightsabers. Um, small note because I have the galaxy's edge. This is the the Ahsoka Tano's lightsabers. They're actually my husband's, but he lets me keep them in the collection room and then always reminds me that they're his still. It's funny. He's mostly teasing, but um, these are worth a lot of money. They retired. And I think they've come out now with a very similar iteration. I couldn't tell you why they're so dang dirty. We like don't use them. They stay in, in the case over there. So that's kind of funny. And then of course I have my Savi's workshop lightsaber. Enough time has passed now that I could go and make a totally different lightsaber. I think mine was protection and defense. I might be making that up. So cool. I love this experience and I love this lightsaber. I still think it's so cool. It's my very favorite looking lightsaber hilt, of course, because I built it and it just looks so old school, like old school, like historically Jedi. Um, and I love it. And I'd love to go back and make another one when we do a trip eventually again to Disney World. It'd be so cool. But I do have the blades. I have two of the blades over there. And I think my other blade is in my... Um, blade holder there uh, because I just display this in the case just like that so anyway it's just showing those and then lastly I have my force fx lightsabers with their connected blades most of these I have displayed around the room but I just wanted to show you guys I I've showed these in a video before but we're gonna show them again so I have Darth Vader's and I don't have any batteries in this because the blade only lights halfway up these days we found it at an antique store I think for really cheap and the plastic was rubbing off like the rubber was like all sticky so I ended up just like removing it entirely and you can't really tell it doesn't bother me too much it's not like this lightsaber is worth a ton of money my very first force FX lightsaber I got this for Christmas in 2005 I wanted it really badly and I thought it was so beautiful and bright and it really is it's still a very nice lightsaber um for being 2005 I mean this was like just top of the line, I remember. It was just in terms of like innovation and technology because this came out back when when these were still, you know, being sold. So I mean truly it's it's a beautiful, beautiful piece. Like the new ones that they sell, I mean it's nothing special in reality because you know, we have these kind of lightsabers. You can get custom ones that do even way better. But like, this was like top of the line. Like this was so cool at the time. And I feel like people these days, they've kind of either forgotten that, or if you were young, you know, you didn't even know, but like, these were just beautiful. They were amazing. And they, and I just, I just feel like they were just such a top of the line collectible. And so I got this for Christmas in 2005, of course, Mace Windu, because he is my very favorite Jedi lightsaber. Um, 
and probably my favorite Jedi, maybe, maybe Luke, I don't know, it's maybe a tie, but anyways, I got him, my dad got the Luke Skywalker slash Anakin Skywalker lightsaber from Barnes and Noble, um, like, back in May after we saw the movie, and I really wanted one, and then I got Mace Windu that Christmas, but this one, unfortunately, we played with both of these, which was a horrible thing to do, but I did, I played with my high-end collectible, because I was 10 years old, and I could not help it, I physically can't help myself, so, um, we busted this one, I'm sure we could repair it if I knew anything about electronics, but it does not light up anymore, um, I, like I said, it's probably repairable. I probably like, you know, got something loose on it, but yeah, these two are the OGs. These, all three of these are from like 2005. And then obviously we have the new force FX lightsabers, which are much brighter. And even then this is now outdated. And I have, um, episode one, Obi-Wan Kenobi. Cause again, that's another favorite hilt looks beautiful. And then this one is the newest of the ones that I have. This one is Darth Revan's and you can actually remove the blade, which is really cool. And it changes color, but I'll show you in comparison how much brighter. So there's the purple in comparison to the Mace Windu. Oops. Mace Windu purple. Definitely a different purple. And this one is just a lot more vibrant, but anyways, that is a little look through all of my lightsabers my cat is meowing at my door. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It just brings back a lot of memories. Lightsabers to me are just really special because when I was a kid and I used to play still, like the way that I could feel like I was really a part of the Star Wars universe was with a lightsaber. And so these old ones especially just hold a really special place in my heart. And I hope that kids these days when they go and like they pick out something like this or even like this, that they feel that way too. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Um, do you have any of these or do you have any memories with your lightsabers? Let me know. I like hearing them. Um, and thanks for sticking around to watch this super impromptu video. Bye guys.